So we're reporting in the news earlier, Katharina, the Nationwide, the Building Society, is reporting that deposits are the biggest hurdle for those looking to purchase their own properties. And they're reporting that three quarters of first time buyers save the deposits themselves, but a quarter are relying now on the bank of mum and dad, a proportion that's going up all the time. How frustrating is it for you? You are a world class athlete. You have global fame. You've worked hard all your life since you were born in Liverpool. And even you, a, a, an icon of sport, can't buy a house. How does that feel? Um, I, I had to struggle buying my first home um, a couple of years ago, for sure. It was, it was. I think uh, the illusion of track and field is it, to some you say all those stats and stuff, but you know many people, unless they're ranked in the top ten in the world, I don't know many jobs with that. You know, struggle to earn a decent wage, and and for me, the struggle was definitely. Um, my career isn't going to last a whole lifetime. You know, I'm going to probably retire when I'm, I'm 35 and many banks don't understand that um, that sort of payment setup. But, you know, with the rise of living costs and stuff, you know, many young people are struggling to get onto that property ladder for, for different reasons. And the main one, which is what, you know, Nationwide Building Societies Commission has found out is that deposit, which is why I'm so happy to be supporting the the um, 95% mortgage rates, which means that you only need a 5% deposit. And yeah, this is, this is you know, the current climate of the world, but, you know, people need that extra help to, to get onto that property ladder. How big have financial issues loomed in your life, Katerina, as you've taken the step to becoming the world-class athlete that you are? Surely somebody as good as you shouldn't have to worry about money when you're training, when you're focused on being the very best you can be and, and making your country proud. What's been the reality for you in terms of managing the huge training regime you've had to do, the dedication that you've had to show to become who you are, alongside the realities of making your way in life financially as well and paying your bills? Uh, yeah, it's, it's it's hard for everyone. I feel like COVID definitely struck a chord with, with people where, you know, I had a year out where by my main goal for that year was the Olympic Games, which got, you know, postponed or, or cancelled. And mm. it, it's it's tough where I, what am I going to do then? Am I, I can't work from home. Um, so it's, 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 it's struck a chord with everyone. And I think it's just about money management and, and making sure that, you know, you are spending on the right things and, and yeah, just looking ahead and, and planning for the future. And I think that this, what we're talking about today, which is nationwide and um, building society's um, new scheme of um, 95% mortgages um, is really going to help people get on that property ladder.